Hey guys, it's Brenda from my wee Reaper's Cradle. Look at these two toddler girls, they are so cute. Uh, there is Nina. She is the Allura Sculpt by, oh, <laughs> I forget. I'll find out. Same with this one. She's, but she is rainbow bright. But I'm thinking of maybe changing her name to something more precious. Because um, I used to always have her in um rainbow bright clothing, and you know what? She is just beautiful in regular clothing. So. I don't know guys, I might want to change her name to some, she is gorgeous. Look at, look at that. She's so pretty. And it's gorgeous outside you guys. It's beautiful, beautiful. The sun is not shining, but the weather is so warm. It's, um, it's minus nine. 20 in the house which is perfect i had to lower the furnace a little bit the other day i was too warm but um you see uh, my left hand 17 fahrenheit 69 in the house which is perfect okay um i have some clothes i brought out these are clothes for ponette that I want her to wear today. I have these gorgeous corduroy um, overall pink set for her. Has um, pockets right here. Little teddy bear. It's so cute. And I thought it would be great with either these booties or these booties. These ones might be a bit small on her so... I'm not sure yet. This had my uh, Komotomo bottles in there that I modified yesterday. So I'll put the bottles. Well, <laughs> I'm over the place. And this is a onesie, a beautiful onesie. Um, I thought these two would look gorgeous together. They don't go together, but I mean, like, they're not meant. I didn't get them as a set um this came separately from this so i mean this has bunnies on it and it has a teddy bear but i mean they look perfect together so yeah whichever booties fit her these ones or these gorgeous knitted ones or crocheted <laughs> So guys, this is one of my Scentsies. I own lots of them. And they are a wax um, burner, or warmer, I should say. Um, and you know what? Although I love my candles, these are from Avon. They're three wicks. They are scented. And they're hard to get off. <laughs> oh, I love these candles. But, um, I watched Katie's video of her, um, opening gifts from Shannon, and she got that mug candle. Oh, it's gorgeous. So, it inspired me. I thought, you know what, I have so many leftover waxes that I should just make my own candle. So, I am inspired to do that. I have lots of scent. That will be my scented part. And I looked at um, online for do-it-yourself candles and um, my idea. And I know that somebody else used leftover scented uh, warmer wax cubes as scent. So, that's... But they were using, like, those Glade ones. I'll show you what I have. Just pause... Here is Ponette. Yay, I could dress her today in those clothes that I was telling you about. She looks so peaceful. So this is my bin of 
<laughs> sending cubes. I know I have a lot. And this is just one bin that's upstairs. I have a lot more. Like, look, it's filled. <laughs> so I thought, what better way to get rid of these scented waxes to make candles out of them? So, yeah, I can't wait. So I think it'll be an awesome, awesome idea. So I went shopping today and they had clearance on Christmas items. Now I did buy this because I don't have a glass measuring cup and I need one if I want to melt the wax of what I'd like to do. I do have measuring cups but they're all in plastic, like hard plastic, but this is glass. So I needed that for my project. And these are the cute mugs that I found on Clarence. And inspired by the wonderful candle that Katie got from Shannon. But this is what mine looks like. Isn't that cute? Vintage style. A girl pulling her tree. I thought a candle out of this would be wonderful. So I want to try that. And here is the other mug. And that's what the image is on that one. I think it's so cute. Oh, I can't wait. I bought one for myself to try and one for my mom because her birthday is coming up in January and mine's in February. <laughs> but along with this wonderful sale, these lights were on sale. For really, really inexpensive, like $2 for this box. And they have these wonderful tins. Oh, there's me. They have these wonderful, like, there's a glare. These wonderful tins on sale. Isn't that cute? Now, if I took a drill, drilled a hole... I can put these lights inside of it and make like a decoration. And these tins were on sale for like $2. So isn't that cute? Oh, I can't wait. So I have this one and this one. This one matches this. So I thought this would be perfect for my mom if it works out, if it looks good then I will definitely love to share with my mom. I tried looking for a mug with this, but this is the closest image that I could find. But I love it. I love this idea, and I'm excited. I looked online for some um, ideas, um, how to make your own candles. I am using, because... Where I live, I can't find um, wax very easily. I, we don't have craft stores where I live. So, and I don't want to really wait online. So I thought, well, what else can I use other than wax? And there are Crisco, do-it-yourself candles out of Crisco wax. Or Crisco shortening, I should say. So I really want to try that idea. And, um... So I'll use the shortening in the candle, the scented wax for scent, and I might need some crayons for added color. I'm not sure how much, um, like if I have a dark scentsy wax already, I'll show you. Like these scented wax are dark in color. So I know with the shortening they'll be even lighter than that. But then I have some scents that are like really super light. So I was thinking I would melt down some crayons, which I have a ton of crayons <laughs> that I can use. So I'm very excited. Oh, and as for a wick, um, um, the one that Katie received was a wood, a wood wick. And I looked online for alternative, uh, uh, like crackle wicks and somebody there's a tutorial on making crackle wicks out of popsicle sticks and I have a lot of craft popsicle sticks so I'm so excited to try out this project anyways guys if you're really interested in seeing the finished project or 
how I do it. I would definitely love to do a tutorial on this. I know it's not Reborn related, but nonetheless, I'm so excited to try it. So anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for sharing in my enthusiasm for this. Even though it's not Reborn related, I still love that you're here. So thanks, guys, and have a great day. Love you so much. Yay to a new start, 2020. Bye, guys. Until next time, love you. Match your hand, guys. Give me a high five. Love you. Bye.